Hey there, I'm R2, and today we've got John Dealey here from North Lane. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us today, man. No problem. Now, straight to the punch, you're releasing a new album titled Node on July the 24th. Tell us a bit about what we can expect from it. Uh, well, we did the heavy tuning on the last album, but I think it was very new to me. So now I have written probably a whole album in this tuning. It's like, it's, it's pretty different. It's like an F on top, low F. Um, and then uh, drop A sharp down the bottom. So there's a lot of heavy stuff, but then there's also a lot of pretty stuff as well. Um, we've also got some uh, more singing stuff. I, I guess everyone always says it's like, yeah, it's more heavy, it's more melodic, but I guess that's what it is. So North Lane released two albums before Node, Discoveries in 2011 and Singularity in 2013. Yep. Now, do you notice any progression from one album to the next? Um, I think there's always a progression with, with our stuff, uh, for no reason at all, it just is like that. And um, I suppose like, as I was saying before about the tuning, like honing in on that tuning is gonna, it's gonna make it sound different because it's so obscure, but I guess, yeah, the, there's a natural progression, I don't know what you would call it. But. Yeah, right, so it just sounds different. As it's, you, it as sounds you, different, as they, you, they all sound different and I'm sure the next album will sound just as different. So, your new signature E2, which mm -hmm. we have here, can you tell us about, you know, what made you take certain choices with, with all the bits and pieces on it? Um, well, I designed this guitar with the other guitarist in my band, Josh. Um, he's a bit of a, a gear nut, probably a little bit more than I am. Actually, mm -hmm. I would say a lot more than I am. Um, but I kind of was like, this is what I need, and we worked on it together. Um, we needed the seven string, we needed... Um, locking tuners, we needed um, crazy thick strings, we've got like an 80 on top and then the next one's like a 66. So that's for, I was I said it before, but it's like a F, uh, A sharp, F, A sharp. So you get this crazy like double drop tuning you can do. Or, Which we'll hear a bit later. Yeah, we'll, we'll hear it later. Um, what else? I like the telly shape a lot. Yeah, that was, that was the first thing I was curious about. Yeah. So what I did notice is a bit of foam going on here. Yeah. So you can tell some of our viewers what, what, what you've done here. We've Why? kind of always, like, I know a lot of people use it for recording, but we've always mm. used um, foam in between the little bits and pieces. Yeah. Putting um, foam, like, in here as well, like, in all the gaps so that there's, like, no ringing. I know it sounds a bit pedantic, but I think yeah. when we were doing, like, big chords and stuff live, depending on how I had my, my gate set, um, I would hear like little, little whiny feedback just before it clamped down, and like it didn't matter how much you cl like clamped down on the gate, it would always like you'd always hear it, and it bugged the hell out of me because I like clean gated stuff, especially when you're doing the big chuggy chugs. Um, so that that stops that, um, and I used to have uh, on my clips, my my ESP clips. I had one, I think because it was a uh, the I forget what it's called, like the. What is the hardtail oh, bridge? Yeah, 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 yeah. We put it in there as well to stop that, but you don't need it with this one because it's way cooler. Um, yeah, so that's so just still, for that. Do you still play that? Your clips? Yeah. No, I actually sold it? that. I sold that because I um, I only like tellies now. I, I just, I just, it's fine. I just felt like going between the the two styles was a little bit too much. This is like a flat top, yeah. whereas the eclipse has got a it's flat. It's flat side. and then it's carved down. Um, and my yeah, just felt weird under my hand. So now I like I like because we use this tuning and we also use a G sharp tuning as well on a seven string, tuned a bit differently. Um, and I like it feeling the same. Guitarist from the Red Hot Chili Peppers used to play all those guitars and the road one that John Frusciante used to play yeah. all that stuff. I grew up listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers and that was like all I played for years before I got into metal.